Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be looking at some Luminaire Axi FPV antennas, 5.8 gigahertz, circularly polarized. They were recommended by one of my viewers who uh, told me that people were getting incredibly good range out of these antennas, so I thought I'd better try them out. So here's the little stubby, tiny little unit. These ones are SMA connection. You can get RP, SMA, SMA, micro FL, whatever they're called, all those different sorts of connectors, and you can get left-hand circularly polarized and right-hand circularly polarized. This one shows you on the box. It's uh, right-hand circularly polarized and SMA connector, so you have to make sure you buy the correct one. If you're buying left-hand or right-hand, you have to match the transmitting antenna with the receiving antenna. Now these antennas are a little bit more expensive than others, uh, but they boast a near perfect axial ratio. What does that mean? That just means they're really well designed and that the reception is identical straight out, straight back and out to the sides. It's a, a pure circle of uh, reception or transmission, which I guess is what you want in a circularly polarized omnidirectional antenna. So that's the little stubby. We also have the 125 millimeter stalk version, uh, which would be good on goggles. If you put that like that on your goggles there, that's excellent. Yes, all right, we'll do that, eh? Goggles are SMA connectors, so that's gonna plug straight in. So that's a nice long stalk, so it sort of gets it up above my head a little bit. Excellent, I'll try that out. I tend to <coughs> flow with my head down like that too, so I can actually tilt that back so that I get better uh, orientation of the antenna. That's, that's very good, I like that. And the little stubby could just fit straight onto a uh, transmitter in this sort of situation. It's RPSMA, so I'll have to find an adapter and the marketing says that these are equally as good for uh, receiving and transmitting. So you can have, have them either on the plane or on your goggles and they're going to work just as well. My usual transmitters are RPSMA, so I've got a little adapter here which probably reduces the uh, gain a little bit. But uh, seeing I'll be doing a comparative test, that's no big drama. So that now fits on there. A little stubby will go on the plane and the long stalk will go on my goggles and I'll compare it to my usual antenna which is one of these little short uh, Aonway antennas. Last time I did a, a test at my flying field I compared all of these different antennas and they all worked perfectly well with hardly any interference so that's because I had my patch on there so I'm going to take that off uh, and try and reduce the reception power of my goggles. Uh, be really good to have an attenuator, I, I realised, to test out antennas. So now I can do a direct comparison between the Aonways and the Axes and the reception as well. So I'll be able to swap that over as well. So, all right, let's go out for a fly and see how they work. I'm going to fly around a little bit with my normal little uh, short Aonway circularly polarised antenna and then I'll compare it to the little stubby. <laughs> So we'll get up to about 50 metres and cruise around there. There we are. Often get interference sort of around this area here. There, a little bit there, a little bit of... Going a bit, little bit, tiny bit snowy. Oh, there we go, there's a definite interference. Yeah, definitely stuff going on there. Let's fly back this way. Yeah, little bits, little bits. Let's fly it this way. A bit more out here, there we go. Oh, there's a fair bit. Yeah, quite a lot there. Don't know whether they've got a security device in there or it's um, the factories over behind where the plane is now. Definitely 
reasonable amount of interference. All right, let's switch over to the Axi Stubby. Let's see how we go. All right, we've got the Axi Stubby on there now. Uh, so let's go again. Heading off to the same spot. Get up to 30, uh, 50 meters. Same sort of slight snowiness there, definitely. Oh yeah, quite a lot there. Decent amount of interference. Definitely. Head out this way. Got my hand on the return to home in case I need to. Yeah, so I'm picking up interference very similar at the same spots. Not a lot of difference at this stage. All right, we've got the long one on the goggles now and the stubby on the plane. Okay, getting up to 50 metres, flying to the Bermuda Triangle. A little bit of snow, definite interference, pretty much the same. I think I'm getting more interference actually, or uh, less reception with the Axi compared to the Aomway. That's funny. Oh no, it's going pretty well over here actually. I'll have to switch back to the AM way on the plane. There we go, that was a total drop out there. Alright, let's switch back to the AM way on the goggles. Have the Axi on the goggles, the long Axi on the goggles, and the Aomwe on the plane. There's that subtle snowy. Oh, it's definitely there, yeah. Very similar. Getting less out here, maybe. That's pretty good. Yeah, it does seem to be a little bit clearer. 
less interference with the Aomei on the plane. Uh, they're fairly similar. Vague feeling that the Aomei's are actually in this situation they're getting a little bit less interference. I don't know about... I can't really show you long range on my channel. Well that was an interesting test. Uh, by far the best for long range is this setup with the long axis uh, on the plane. In the other circumstances just flying around the field through sort of high uh, interference areas they were both pretty similar and I thought the Aomei may have uh, performed just a little bit better. But of course you need lots of different testing uh, with proper antennas, uh, you know, optimised antennas and things like that to get a really definitive result. But at this stage there's no reason I would change my antennas from the Omways uh, unless I'm going for long range, which I never do anyway. Okay, thanks for watching.